John Baby, Tana Paul here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss an upload. It's fall outside and that means that school season is back. You got it right. Today I'll be sharing with you some back to school outfit ideas. How does it sound to you? Oh, and make sure to stay till the end so you can decide on which outfit was your favorite. And also make sure to let me know why you picked that outfit. As it's fall and the temperature is not that high in every part of the world as where I live, I decided that I would actually layer outfits. Last year I shared with you how you can layer different outfits to keep yourself warm and this is gonna be something similar but the layers are lower than in the video that I shared with you on last year. Make sure to check that one out. Now let's focus on the outfit. Isn't it cute though? Okay, let me explain to you what I did here. I grabbed my facing Sarah shirt and I paired it with this pleated skirt that I got from Coupon Pratt. It's white and black and the white part is pleated. I find the skirt very unique. It actually had the chains, the metal chains, but I decided to take them off to make it more elegant and classy. I decided to wear the overknees to keep myself warmer and after all I thought that would be a great idea to wear a sweater and here I'm wearing this sweater. The outfit looks very classy, elegant and at the same time casual and comfy and I also decided to wear those transparent glasses. How do you like this outfit? Make sure to let me know in the comment section. Outfit number two. Here I actually didn't layer that many clothes, but you can change it a little bit, play around. For example, you can wear a shirt under this sweater, but I decided to keep it this way. By the way, I'm not sure whether you can see, but the buttons on the sweater are heart shaped. This is so cute. And this is the reason why I decided to wear the tights that have this hearts pattern. I think it's adorable. Also, how do you like this fall leather pleated skirt? And in general, how would you rate this outfit? Leave a comment, make sure to let me know whether you like it or whether you would change something. Outfit number 
three. Oh, I really love this pleated skirt. It's checkered and every color is different. It has gray in it, it has white, and it has purple. That is why I'm wearing these purple tights. By the way, these tights are Korean pantyhose. And I shared with you a video where I tried to style different Korean pantyhose in different colors. The colors were very unique and it was sort of a challenge for me to style them. Make sure to check that one too and let me know in the comment section whether my ideas were fine or they were not. As I told you before, there is purple in the skirt. I decided to wear purple Korean tights and I thought it would be a great idea to wear a purple sweater. And I have to tell you, I really like how this outfit turned out. I just feel like every single detail that I put in this outfit makes sense. What do you think? Make sure to let me know in the comment section. Outfit number four. Here I'm styling this Zara basic white shirt with this tall scale pleated skirt. And I decided to wear these cute tights. I think they just add something extra to this outfit. And of course, keep yourself warm and wear a sweater. And here I'm wearing this Falconeri black sweater. By the way, tell me more about yourself. When did you go to school? Well, what are your degrees? Did you go to college? I would really love to know you better. I believe I already told you that, but I have two degrees in linguistics and economics. And here is the final result of this outfit. I just added a pair of glasses and a pair of Louboutin Suke 120s. How do you like this outfit? Outfit number five. We're almost done, so please make sure to stick till the end so you can decide which outfit was your favorite and why. Here I'm styling this salt pack dress with a white basic shirt, and I decided to wear overknees. And as you notice, these overknees have pink lines on top. Yay! And because of that, I decided that it would be a great idea to wear a pink sweater. And here I'm wearing this oversized pink sweater. How do you like it?
I believe that layering sweaters on top of your shirts or tops or t-shirts or anything like that is a good idea because you can always take them off if it's too hot inside or you can put them on if it's too chilly outside. Outfit number six, you made it till the end, you made it till the end. Okay, this is my final outfit. For my final outfit, I decided to style this clay pink shirt. And also, I'm styling these skirts. Yes, it's not a skirt, they're not shirts, but skirts. Very cool. <laughs> I've already told you that I'm a big fan of skirts. I don't know, there is something cool about them. They're very practical and comfy, by the way. Yeah, and I also decided to add this checkered oversized blazer because I think it's a very good match for this outfit. What do you think? And as for the shoes, I'm wearing these ankle boots. Look at them. How do you like them? Thank you for sticking till the end. I really hope you like this video, you like this try and haul. If so, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon to never miss an upload. If you'd like to see more of my content or you're just willing to say hi to me, feel free to reach out. I'll drop the links as usually in the description box below. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you soon. Bye!